I really hope I'm in focus. Yep, I'm wearing another onesie. And it's Pluto. Hey guys, it's Alexis. And as you can tell by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing a story time video. Nothing bad like a lot of those freaking beauty gurus do it, but um... I'm just gonna talk about my trip to Catalina. Wait before you click off. It's not that boring, I promise you. It's pretty cray. While well, the ending. Ooh. The school I used to go to was K to 8th and 6th. So the school I used to go to, a 4th grade trip, a 5th grade trip, chip, blah blah. There was a 4th grade chip, chip, chip. There was a 4th grade chip. There was a 4th grade trip, a 5th grade trip, a 6th grade thrrr. There was a 4th grade trip, a 5th grade trip, a f There was a 4th grade trip, a 5th grade trip, a 6th grade trip, a 7th grade trip, and an 8th grade trip. The 6th grade the <laughs> The 6th grade trip was a trip to Outdoor Ed, which is like in Lancaster. 7th grade was Catalina and 8th grade was Washington DC. So I'm going to talk about the 7th grade Yep, the seventh grade trip, which was to Catalina Island, not Avalon. It was like a freaking camp in the middle of nowhere. But the chaperone that went with me was my cousin Cassie. So let's start off with the boat ride there. So we took a boat with, I think there was like another class, I don't remember. And it was a nice boat. It was really nice, actually. And it was about a two hour boat ride across the ocean. Um, the coolest thing I can remember from that is um, like when we were like, not towards the shore, but not in the middle of the ocean, like in between, literally there were dolph dolphins, dolph there were dolphins. <laughs> there were dolphins like literally like swimming like right by the boat. Like it was so cool. Like they were like right there about to jump in and swim with them, you know? But that was the only exciting thing so we get there after two hours of being in the ocean. So you get off, it was like the beach-ish thing. It was like a little beach. And then you go, and then there's like this middle thing, which was like the food, like the hall, the dining hall. And then to the left side were the boy cabins. And then to the, le the right side were the girl cabins, I think. And then behind the dining hall, there was like, like a little thing. And there was like a shop, like a gift shop and for food and stuff and then there was like I don't know there was something it was pretty big it was big so when we got there we went to the dining hall and we ate it was about like one ish I remember I think and we had swimming time like where we could swim in the water but we couldn't go so far so it was kind of dumb but the water was freezing so I didn't really like want to go in because I hate being wet um so I remember that and then so yeah we just had like free time and then yeah there was like another school but I think it was an all boys school so then we got like our groups well we already had our groups but we all like got our groups together and each day and each time we had our things to do like an itinerary this was the freaking worst part about Catalina I had a bunk with the principal of the school Cool. like she was in our cabin our little cabin which was like there were six beds two like there were bunk beds so pairs and so our the principal was in my cabin so I called the top bunk and my cousin had the lower bunk and yeah that was like really weird because like I couldn't do anything and I had my phone and I couldn't use my phone you know there wasn't like really service Anyway, so every night at Catalina, we got around like a big fire, like a big fire was like, and then they're like, maybe at least like four steps up and like big, if you can picture like a bonfire, and we would like do worship music and like stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Anyways, that night, it was so freaking cold. Like it was freezing. I literally went down off my bunk and I freaking slept with my cousin because I was freezing. Anyway, so yeah, the next day we went with our groups and we did our thing. You know, we did we did get breakfast, we did that whole stuff, but I don't feel like talking like about breakfast. I don't even remember what I ate. Um actually I remember getting chased we were getting chased by bees. I remember that. Yeah. Our first thing we were gonna dissect a squid. Yes, we were going to dissect a squid and we had papers and we had to write about it and what we learned. But I remember dissecting a squid. I remember throwing a piece of the squid at somebody. Then someone threw it back at me. And 
then we got in trouble. Only me. Only me. And then after that, we went to the water, that little beach area, and I forgot, I think we went canoeing. No, 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 we went kayaking, and <laughs> we either had the choice to do it with two people or one. We my cousin chose to do it with two people because I didn't feel like worrying about flipping and shiz. So then I, there were these two guys, and um, one, I think it was, I don't want to say names. I'll just say their initials. So we went out into the ocean. When we were coming back on the kayaks, we went around like this big rock or something. When we were coming back, A flipped, he flipped, it was pretty funny, and D was laughing and flipped because he was laughing and that is what you call karma, people. It was so funny, I wish someone recorded that. That was iconic. So that was what happened on the kayaks. And then after that, I think, I don't remember everything perfectly, I'm sorry, I'm human. I think we, it was our turn to do snorkeling. The water was freezing. This was November, guys. They told us, like, if you got cold, you would pee in your suit to warm up. And I was just like, GMFU. But it was probably the coolest thing, like, I've ever done. So we went to another part, another, like, beach or whatever, and we got in the water, freezing. I fell about three times because we had the big, I forgot what they're called. We got in and we like, we, there was like our guy and they were telling us and we looked and we went through like the kelp forest and stuff and you could see it's like a whole nother world. And we were out in the deep. I was really scared about freaking sharks and shiz, but it was so cool. We saw fishes, we saw the kelp forest, we saw a lot of stuff and it was so cool. Like I would so do that again. I didn't even, I didn't even care it was cold once we got out because like it was just freaking amazing. I did kick someone in the face too, I remember that. I did kick someone in the face. So skip past whatever. I think we went on a hike. I think we went on a hike after that with everybody. And then um, we ate dinner. We went to the showers. So here's the situation, guys. There were like three showers and there were like 20 something of us. Just think about that. I was freezing. Me, my friend, E and another friend T, one was in the shower, but we were like in our bathing suits. I was so cold and we didn't want to waste like the warm water like and stuff. So we there was just that warm water because the water came from the ocean. And we had to be careful with like the heat and stuff. I jumped in the shower and then E jumped in the shower and we were showering together and we didn't care. And then when we had to take off like our bathing suit and ever, like we'd be like, okay, turn around, close your eyes, do it, do it. And then we would change really quick. We did that and it was like, it took like 10 minutes for three. Pretty good, I'm telling you. It was weird now that I think of it, but I was not going to wait for 10 people in the cold. That night on the bonfire or whatever, I think, or some, no, I don't think it was a bonfire. I think just someone told us this, no, one of the workers at the gift shop said how the whole campsite was haunted and stuff. Like there's a burial or something. Like literally, we were like the last cabin. Like there was the cabins. Yeah, we, there was like the row of cabins. There was like three cabins, the, sh the restrooms, another three cabins, and we were the last one. Right next to our cabin was like a memorial, and it was, it was a burial, we don't know, probably a memorial. But they said, how, like, that's that's the person that haunts the freaking campsite. I swear you, I kid you not, I kid you not, me and my friend literally heard crying right next to our cabin. I could be BSing, but I remember that we heard crying literally outside of our cabin. But I think it got debunked that someone was homesick and was crying. But why would they be in the dark? It was pitch black, okay? There were lights over here, but pitch blackness over here? I don't think so. I just, I just, I just, I just don't know. It was the third day and our, on our itinerary was um, the aquarium. There was an aquarium on the hill or whatever, whatever. And we saw freaking fish and stuff like that. It was super cool. And that was pretty much it. We ate lunch and then we headed out. And there was a storm. It was raining, it started raining. This is the good part, guys. This is the good part. I seriously thought I was going to die. Everyone seriously thought we were going to die. So we had a boat. It was really, it was pretty open space. It was like that. And there was like chairs, like lounges on the side and tables or whatever. And then you would go upstairs and it was like the deck on top. And everything was all like windows, okay? So a lot of the counselors and guides came with us because they wanted to go back, you know, home or whatever. Yeah, so it was raining hard and we were like, oh my god, like are we gonna have to like stay here another night? But we couldn't because even the guides were coming with us. 
and we prayed before we left. We got into the ocean. It wasn't that bad, but once we got into the middle of the ocean, we were told we couldn't be on top of the deck. We had to stay inside. The boat was swaying back and forth. Not bad yet. I was sitting with my friend um, Corey, I'll say his name because he does YouTube, and then some other friends across from me, and um, me and Corey were actually sharing a seat. So then we literally get into the middle of the ocean where the freaking, like the big part of the storm was. Literally, this is like the boat. This is the boat. The boat with the waves literally would go like that, where when we would tilt, the freaking window would be literally in the water. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. You can ask anybody who went on this damn trip. Like, it was literally going like that. The whole boat smelled like puke. Everyone was crying. I was actually enjoying it, to be honest. Me and my friend Juliet, you know her. And then there was a part where the freaking boat turned off. We seriously thought we were going to die. We probably prayed like five times. And there was a point where the freaking boat caught air. And when it hit the water, it turned off again. And we were like, we gon' die. We gon' die. Oh my god. After a while, okay, then I was, me and my friend um, D were like, okay, like this is crazy. Like, I don't, we didn't even think we were gonna make it home. So then the boat did that again, like so bad. I grabbed onto the table. Like, I got up and I grabbed onto the table because it was stuck like in the ground or whatever. The chairs weren't. And Corey was asleep because he was sick. And he literally flew across the freaking boat because I wasn't like holding onto him and he was asleep. I felt bad, but that woke him up. We had people sick under the table holding on to the pole. It was so crazy. Like, I will never forget that. Like, we, we, okay. like, me and um, D literally, like, looked at each other, like, like, he was like, I don't know, like, my mom, like, he was, like, praying, like, all this stuff that, like, saying, like, we need to, we, me and him prayed together. Like, we grabbed each other and we, like, prayed together after, like, because I was scared after that. I was like, okay, this is serious now. Like, at first it was fun, but now it's, like, serious. So the storm like calmed down and we saw shore and we all got so excited we like we we lived we made it Jesus was with us and literally we all like rushed out the freaking boat like it was we got our stuff and we got the hell out and we a lot of us literally kissed the ground probably the craziest experience ever all right so that was my experience on my Catalina trip pretty crazy give this video a thumbs up if you like some of these story times I have more that I can tell so yeah if you want to see more of that give it a thumbs up. Comment below some of your near-death experiences. I would like to hear it, listen to it, read it. Yep. And if you haven't subscribed for new videos every Tuesday, I know I keep saying that and I don't upload, but um, I waited this last week to not upload just so I can like just wait and then go back on my schedule. So let's hope I do that. Yeah, I'll see you guys next week soon. Yep. I've just been busy. I'm sorry. <laughs>